Hey guys, Doug here from Trigger King. Uh, it's been a while since we've done one of these Trigger King tech videos, and we actually had a little bit of a rain situation, so our, our next event is pushed off a couple weeks, so I figured I'd uh, do a couple of these for you guys. Um, a lot of you on YouTube you know, are always asking questions about what do we do for bodies? Like how do we replicate the bodies of these trucks? And also just many questions in general about the trucks you know, themselves. So what I've got here, this is a, a sport mod truck. This truck is actually uh, one of our top runners in our sport mod class. But anyways, on the body here, how do we replicate the bodies? That's what a lot of you guys want to know. There's two ways. Um, for some of them, we hire airbrush uh, artists who, who that's what they do. And um, these things can be replicated completely by paint. And uh, if you've got the money or the skill, that's the way to go because generally they, they look fantastic if you, uh, if you do it right or uh, pay somebody to do it right, which I've done a bunch of that. Um, but a lot of us, and like this truck, what it is, we can do basic paint jobs. We do the rest in Photoshop or decals. So this is the Bigfoot Cruiser. Uh, this was a famous uh, paint job that Bigfoot ran during the mid-90s, uh, specifically in the Penda series. So the, uh, there's a few tricks on this body to make it look more like the real one. Um, the real trucks, they ran a single cab with an extended bed. And um, so to kind of do the trick here, uh, to get the wheelbase on this, this the actual body is uh, the extended cab. And so to kind of trick it to where it looks like a single cab, the window here is done longer. And then the uh, racer back is actually done, you know, it's, it's pushed up on the body actually. So it's kind of a visual trick to where this looks like a single cab. The body really isn't a single cab, but it looks like a single cab. So that gives it more of the appearance of what it was. And these Bigfoot Cruiser bodies on the side, these don't exist anywhere in any file or anything. Um, you know, back then we didn't have vector files when this body was being done for things. So how this was done, basically a real picture of the truck was taken. And uh, this whole setup here, this uh, the, like the lightning stripe, um, was recreated in Photoshop and done in decals. There's also, you know, other, other decals around the truck. Um, some of these were we had access to actual uh, decals like the Firestone and stuff like that, but a lot of the stuff was just kind of hand recreated, and that's how a lot of our trucks are done. Even the ones with paint jobs um, that that use more airbrushing. And I know for some of you guys who've never painted uh, Lexan bodies before or RC bodies, um, you want to make sure if you're going to paint your body, you use a polycarbonate paint. I know a lot of people, and I've used to do this when I was a newbie for it. I would use spray paint you know, because it's it's cheaper, it's easier to find that will flake off almost instantly. And it seems like once a season, we'll have a guy who comes out with a really good looking truck. Um, last season, if you've seen the Monster Patrol, which that we had in our sport mod videos that kept deteriorating from our friend Habo, he painted the thing, really nice paint job, and he used standard spray paint and it will flake off. So go to your hobby shop, get some polycarb paint. Um, if you're gonna use a spray can, you can use uh, Pactra is one of the, the main brands. Um, if you can find it still, uh, but Duratrax, they make a really nice one. And um, most of our guys, I think our favorite is the Tamiya. It's a little bit more expensive, but you want to make sure you get the PS, Tamiya PS, as that's the polycarb. If you use the Tamiya TS, that's for plastic. And the Tamiya TS paint is what a lot of us use for our wheels because it sticks really well. So, all right, guys, and just uh, a quick, you know, to show you the a different, like the paint. Um, Travis Sutton, uh, Sutton Motorsports, he does a bunch of our bodies. And this is UFO. This is a replica of the uh, Bob Fisher's truck that ran in the early 90s. And um, this is pretty much outside of the J Concepts, you know, just the headlights and stuff. And uh, J Concepts, big squid sticker. All of this is paint. And actually, um, I did the masks for this. I helped Travis with this little UFO guy. Um, and I, I took a blown up picture I found up online and I traced it in Adobe Illustrator. And I wound up, I got the files to Travis and he, he printed the masks out and he uh, hand painted that. And the whole rest of the body here, that's all paint. So uh, this isn't a super extravagant like example, but um, I, a lot of the trucks in our series, uh, like the Virginia Giant trucks, uh, Tall Cool, some stuff like that, Travis paints those. Um, he also did uh, Ross's uh, Saigon Shaker, which I'll edit in a picture here. That paint job is phenomenal. He did like a metallic look on it, but that's all airbrush. So. Again, you kind of got both ends of the spectrum here. I wanted to show you guys. So like the cruiser, you've got the stickers and then it gets more in depth. You can just go full on airbrush. Um, you can learn how to do that or there's a lot of guys you can pay to do that, which is uh, what a lot of us would rather do. So again, hopefully that answers the question on the bodies a little bit on how we replicate these things. Uh, it takes work a lot of times, whether on the computer or you know, obviously the actual with the paintbrush or the paint bottle. So 
We'll see you guys next time with uh, another tech video.